Hello YouTube, now to get started here, we're just going to drag that video and put it into that little box for a new composition. Do you need to click, one second, Hel make sure it's highlight, click layer, new layer, solid, make sure it's white, and go ahead and click OK. Now, there should be a little box with a triangle like that, so it's going to hold down on it and go to the ellipse tool and make yourself a nice size circle for your energy ball. Then after that is completed, click on the little arrow for the mask. Then go down to transform. Then you're going to um, bring your little ticker all the way to the beginning of where you want your energy ball to start. About right there for me. Keyframe opacity and bring your ticker one frame back and bring it to zero. That way your energy ball starts right at the beginning. Then bring your ticker all the way to the end and the keyframe of bring it down to zero percent. And then you're going to go back one frame and bring it to 100%. Okay, that should make your energy ball start up and start, you know, whenever it needs to. Now our next thing is we want this to track our hand so the energy ball move with us. So keyframe position and make sure your mouse is clicked and bring it to the where you want your hand to be. And throughout this you're just going to continue moving your the ball with your hand and so just like I am doing here just along the clip just keep on going just like that as your hand goes move the ball just continue doing that notice just wait for this to finish up just wait for me just bear with me one second Almost done here. It's gonna be one second, guys. Okay, and that's almost done. I'm gonna bring it up and down a little bit whenever your hands is sitting there. Make it look like it's floating. That's also a good tip. Okay, next step, we have our thing. I'll track our hand. Pretty nice. I like that a lot. But we need some effects. So we're gonna go to effects. Here in a second. Okay, click effect. Go to noise and grain. Click fresh frac fractal noise. Run the contrast to 900. The brightness to negative 100. That's minus 100. Then you're gonna bring that to wrap black. Gonna go down to the evolution options. Check the box. Keyframe it and bring it to five. Okay. Next step is you're gonna bring. I know I brought it to the end, but you're actually going to bring the thing to the beginning. Uh, so I'm going to correct myself here in a second. And we're going to bring that thing to the beginning. You're going to bring that ticker, yep, to the beginning. The first frame where your energy ball starts. You're going to keyframe evolution. Then you're going to bring the ticker to the end, the very end, the last frame of the energy ball. The very last frame. And then you're going to click that little button right there. And you're going to um, bring that to 10. Okay, and so, you know, we get a nice warp effect there. Pretty nice. Okay, let's go back to, we can go ahead and click that arrow down. Go to Effect Now. And you're going to go to Blur and Sharpen. And you're going to go to Radial Blur. You're going to bring that to 150. Okay, then you're going to bring that to Zoom. And you're going to bring that to High Quality. And then you're going to click on the Crosshair button. And go ahead and bring that to, this, click the center of your energy ball. And then it should center it up just like that. Okay, now we're gonna want some color in this thing. So you just go ahead and click the arrow, go to effect, color correction, and we're gonna get a hue saturation. Okay, click the box that says colorize. You know, just bring that little slider, you know, click on and slide it, change the color up. I'm gonna go ahead and do green. But that looks a little dull, so we'll go ahead and turn the saturation up. And there you go. Okay, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Um, you know, just render it, and then you will be set. Thank you so much. Now, please comment and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. This is my first video. So, thank you so much.